ほうほうほう Hey everybody, welcome to the 12 days of Cassio. Let's open day 8. It's a Casio BZX20. Let's check it out. I came up with a joke today. Do you want to hear it? What are you stupid or something? No. I told you I tell all the jokes around here. Whatever. Hey guys, you got a joke for me today? Yeah, I got another joke for you right here, buddy. What do you call a girl that cheats on you during the holidays? I've got no idea. A ho 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 bag. Wow, another terrible joke. Thanks a lot. Anyhow, here is the Casio BZX20 Personal Information Manager. It's from back in 2000 when devices like PDAs were still a thing. They were like $150 back in the day, but I picked mine up for about $20. Bucks. It holds a whopping 24K worth of schedule and contact data. This watch isn't great. If I had to vote one of these watches off the island, this would probably be it. The buttons have almost no feedback to them, so it's hard to tell if a button was pressed. Several functions seem to crash the watch as it's searching for an infrared signal. The manual to do simple things like setting the time is among the most difficult I've ever seen. Well, I think my feelings are best expressed by this little clip from my favorite holiday movie. And there's a candy corn in this one. Well, they can't all be winners, can they? So, yeah, here's the PC infrared gizmo that normally comes with the watch. Connects via serial port, I believe. According to the case back, the watch was made in Thailand. Here's the wrist shot. Seems to fit fine and looks pretty good. The electroluminescence does a great job of lighting up the entire screen. So yeah, back in the day this watch did a lot of stuff like maintain contact lists, schedules, and to-do lists. However, without the IR device and running the right software on a PC, This watch really has no purpose anymore other than something that looks interesting on the wrist. Watchbot, can I have the specs for this watch? Okay, here are the specs of this watch. Thanks, Watchbot. Not the greatest piece in my Casio collection, but at least it's something interesting. Well, that's all I have for today. Only four more Casios left to review. Thanks for watching.